What's up everyone? Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my Facebook group. Uh, today we're going to cover smart meters, analog meters, filtering, shielding options, and we'll cover some of the issues that are coming in with the electricity. So we'll start out here at the pole and I'll explain to you how this problem is coming into the house. So as you can see, you have a pole out back, and you're, you're going to have a, an electricity line that runs into the house, all right, and then into your meter. So the first thing to do is to locate your power coming in and locate your meter and determine what type of meter you have. Now, I have a analog meter. This is the type of meter that you want. Uh, but most of you will have a digital meter, whether it be an opt-out meter or a communicating smart meter. Now, both digital meters are dangerous. Um, so we're gonna cover some shielding options and some filtering options, things like that. So first thing I recommend, putting up a notice right here to let the power company know what can happen to them if they decide to swap this out without your consent all right so I will try to get this uploaded somewhere uh, in the description below uh, if not uh, there will be a link to the Facebook group and you can get this out of the Facebook group in the photo section all right I also have a sign here letting them know that they are being recorded I have security cameras all the way around my house it's I highly suggest that you do the same all right so again right here is an analog meter it has a spinning disc, all right? This is a mechanical analog. This is exactly what you want. It's the safest meter available on the market, all right? Now, with that being said, like I said uh, before, you will probably have some sort of a digital meter, meter whether it be opt-out or a communicating smart meter. So if you do have a smart meter, the first thing that you wanna do is get yourself a smart meter shield, all right? And this shield will go directly over your meter and it's going to eliminate 98% of the RF radiation when it communicates back to the company. All right, so this is pretty simple. This will slip right over your meter, just like that. All right, and that's going to, like I said, eliminate 98% of that RF radiation. Now, the 2% that it lets out is going to allow that signal to get back to the power company so that they can bill you for usage. So it's very important that you don't just wrap this with tin foil and stop that signal altogether because some people have been charged with theft and tampering of a utility because they've completely blocked that signal. All right, so this will allow 2% out so that they can still get the signal. And again, it just slips right over there and that's gonna, that's gonna shield you from that RF radiation. Now, there's a lot of uh, misconceptions out there that when you put this on here, it's gonna force the radiation directly back into your home, and that's simply not true. All metal will block RF radiation. This box that this meter is housed in is metal, so it will not let the radiation go directly back into your house. The radiation is emitted from the glass portion of this meter in all directions, so when you put this shield over there, it's going to contain all of that RF radiation in this mesh net and inside this box. That's it, it's not gonna go into your home. All right, so the, another misconception that I hear a lot in the group is that when you cover this, all that RF radiation is gonna build up and it's gonna cause heat and it's gonna start a fire. That's not how radio frequencies work. That's not true at all. Radio frequencies don't generate heat, all right? So this is completely safe uh, and it's gonna protect you from that RF radiation, cell damage, ringing in your ears, uh, tumors, all kinds of stuff. That RF radiation was labeled in 2011 by the World Health Organization as a class 2B cancer-causing carcinogen in the same category as DDT, lead, and chloroform. All right, so these things are definitely dangerous uh, and they, they need to be shielded, all right? Now, if you're unsure if you have a opt-out meter or a communicating meter, what you need to do is get yourself a good RF meter. Okay, so there are several on the market. Uh, another good one is a uh, Acoustimeter AM10, all right? But this is a really good one. This is the one I purchased. And uh, I've got some 
charts on the back to show you basically your danger levels and things like that. But you turn this on, it's got a speaker. You'll be able to hear the level of RF radiation, all right? And it'll also give you a reading, all right? So right now, because I have an analog, we're at zero. That's what you want, all right? But like I said, I have an analog meter that's not putting off any signals, so I can't give you a good demonstration on that. But get yourself a good meter. All right, they're not very cheap. This one costs about $340, but um, it's definitely worth it. You need to know what you're being exposed to. You can also walk through your house and identify other uh, things that are shooting off wireless signals that you had no idea, such as like your kids' Xbox, Wi-Fi controllers, uh, things like that, right? Um, so that's a little bit about how that works. Now, if you have a digital meter, whether it be a smart meter or an opt-out meter, your power is gonna come in off the back pole and that power is gonna be 240 volts. Now, if you run 240 volts into a smart meter, which is basically a computer board, you're gonna fry it, okay? So uh, what they do is they put in a switch mode power supply inside of these digital meters and what that's going to do is it's going to take that 240 volts and it's going to step it down to 4 to 10 volts to run the meter. Then they have to step the power back up to run it into your home. And so they step it back up from 4 to 10 volts back up to 120, 240 and run it into your house. All right. And that switch mode power supply, when they step that back up, it creates massive amounts of dirty energy that's going to pulse into your home through every wire in your home all right that's called dirty electricity uh line noise emi there's lots of different names for it excuse the noise it's the fourth of july almost people are lighting off fireworks um but yeah that's a little bit about how that works um now we'll go inside and i will explain to you uh the filtering and a little bit more of the issues that we face inside the home all right, so now we are inside at the breaker panel, all right? And I wanted to go over a few of the options. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I showed you the shield. Now I'm gonna show you our filtering options. All right, the first thing I would recommend getting is a dirty electricity meter, okay? So here is the meter, and it just simply plugs into your outlets, and it'll give you a reading. Now, you can find a link for this in the description below. All right, and the first thing you're going to want to do is get one of these meters and you can go around your entire house, plug this into every single outlet and it'll give you a reading. This is the level of your dirty electricity. Now they say that the safe level of dirty electricity is 25 millivolts or below. All right, now I'm going to plug this in. And as you can hear, you can hear the noise and it's also giving off a reading here. We're at 475 millivolts, all right? So that's pretty high. Definitely not the highest I've seen. Um, this house was actually 1900 millivolts not too long ago. So this is definitely not the highest I've seen. All right, but it's as simple as that. You plug this in, you get a reading, then you have some sort of an idea how high your dirty electricity is in your home. All right, this meter runs about $130. And again, you can find the link in the description below. All right, so when you identify that, that you do have dirty electricity, and almost everyone does, it is a problem that's coming in from the power company, and you know they're not saying anything. Now, if you even have an analog meter, which I do, you saw the analog meter outside, you still will have dirty electricity coming in from the power company, all right? So it's a problem that they are delivering to you. Um, now, if you have a smart meter or a digital meter, an opt-out meter, you're gonna have higher levels of dirty electricity. So uh, no, pretty much no matter what type of meter you have, you're gonna to wanna to have a filter, all right? Now, if you have an opt-out meter or an analog meter, you won't need a shield because it's not communicating, all right? But no matter what type of meter you have, you are most likely gonna to wanna to get one of these filters, all right? So uh, here's a filter and it's called a Power Perfect Box. And this carries a 10 year warranty directly from the manufacturer. All right, and it's a super simple install. Uh, there's three wires that attach to the breaker panel. Two wires will attach to a double pole breaker. All right, this is just a simple breaker that goes inside of your breaker box, right? So we have all these breakers right here. You can shut the power on and off. 
Um, let's see, this one is, see, you just, it's a simple breaker, all right? So you just get yourself a double pull 15 amp breaker, okay? And you can mount this on the wall here. You can mount it up here. You can mount it over here. You can mount it literally anywhere. You can mount it upside down, wherever you want, all right? Now, we have three different size filters. This filter is a regular duty filter. This will handle most standard homes up to 2,500 square feet. Now, if you have a house that is larger than 2,500 square feet, we also have a heavy duty. And then we also have a super duty meant for homes that have solar or extremely high amounts of dirty electricity. Now, like I said before, this house had 1,900 millivolts not too long ago. Uh, and it recently went down because they switched out all the meters in the entire neighborhood. Uh, so my dirty electricity level did go down because of that. They switched over to a new type that shoots a radio frequency instead of uh, communicating back through the power line. Uh, so the heavy duty and the super duty are a little bit bigger. They're about double the size. Now this is the type of packaging it will come in. All right, you just get a box in the mail. All right. Inside, the, inside your package, you are going to get your instruction manual and an install instructions. All right, so all, all of your info will be right in here on how to uh, get this installed. Now, we recommend you do this uh, install with a certified electrician, um, you know, so that nobody gets hurt, nobody gets electrocuted, things like that. But with that being said, it's a super simple install. A lot of people are doing it themselves. A lot of people are having uh, friends or loved ones that know how to do this kind of stuff, do it for them. Uh, the other thing that will come in the package is your warranty information. All right, so you just simply fill this paper out, send it back to them, and this is a 10-year manufacturer's warranty, all right, directly from the manufacturer. So that's the two pieces of paper that come in there. I'll pull it out, so pull this out so you can see it. All right, so like I said, we have the regular duty, and then we have a super duty and a heavy duty. Okay, I personally chose the super duty because I wanted to eliminate as much dirty electricity as I possibly could, even though I don't have solar. All right, so um, like I was mentioning before, there's three wires. Two wires are going to go to your 15 amp double pole breaker. One wire will go to your ground or neutral box on the inside of the breaker panel here and all you do is there will be a knockout little hole on the side you just punch that hole out run your wires in mount your filter and hook it up to a 15 amp double pole breaker flip your breaker on and this will filter your entire home so every wire that you see coming out of here before you install this filter is going to be pulsing dirty energy into every circuit in your entire home all right when, once you get this filter installed and you flip that breaker on, it's going to filter everything. And this filter, the way it works is, first of all, it's going to be a whole house surge protector. We actually had a customer in the Philippines. He had this installed. His house got struck by lightning. It fried the filter, but everything else in his house was perfectly fine. All right. So depending on the amount of appliances and electronics you run, this is a good deal. Now, with that being said, it comes with a 10-year manufacturer's warranty, so they just replaced this filter for him. He was back in business. Um, the second thing it's going to do is it's going to uh, filter out your EMF and your dirty electricity from your electrical wiring. So it's going to filter your whole house with one filter. All right. Uh, when you filter out the dirty electricity, it stops the data collection, not the data that they're collecting to bill you, not your usage data. This is going to stop the illegal data collection that they're doing, such as what type of TV you have, what model computer you have, what type of appliances you have, when you use them, how long you use them, things like that. So they are collecting all of this data and they are selling it to a third party company. All right. And there has been rumors that the data is now worth more than the electricity. So um, this is a privacy issue. All right. Um, some people don't care, you know, but some people don't want them seeing what they're doing. OK, so this will stop all of that. Now, the other thing this will do is voltage regulation, line conditioning and phase correction. 
So there's multiple problems that come in with this electricity, right? And most people are unaware of all of that. Most people aren't even going to understand what I just said. But basically that boils down to this, these filters have the capability of saving you up to 15% per month on your power bill and they will extend the life of all of your electronics. So that noise that you heard coming from this dirty electricity meter, think of this as static. You hear that? Think of that as static. Now that dirty energy is hitting your TVs, hitting your computers. And that is going to shorten the life of your electronics. They're not meant for that. All right. So once you flip this filter on, it's going to filter all that out and it'll actually extend the life of your electronics. All right. So um, I always advertise that the, uh, the, the, the filter here can save you 15% per month on the power bill because I like to go after the health concerns. Right. Uh, me personally, I would, before I got this, I was having ringing in my ears. I was waking up covered in sweat, um, you know, having headaches, fatigue, wasn't sleeping good. And that's because my bed was right up against the wall, just like most people. And you have outlets all over your room, and those outlets are connected to each other by a wire that runs sideways through the wall. They, you know, they connect to everything, your switches, your lights in the ceiling, everything. So you are placing yourself right into an EMF bubble, and that's going to cause biological effects whether you notice it or not so some people are going to notice that more than others um, we call that electromagnetic sensitive um, I happen to be sensitive uh, a lot of people I know don't notice anything but once I got this installed all of that went away all right so um, this is changing lives for a lot of people uh, but regardless whether you feel it or not it's doing damage to you it's doing damage to your pets um, your kids all of that so again Going through this real quick, if you have a digital meter, you need to shield it, and then you need to filter it, all right? And also, get yourself a good RF meter and also a dirty electricity meter, okay? Now, there's different ones on the market, but I will drop a link to these in the, uh, in the description below, all right? And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. You can email me at bsimmons at yahoo.com. That email will be in the description below. Um, real quickly on prices on these, the regular duty, this filter, again, comes with a 10-year manufacturer's warranty. This regular duty handles 2,500 square feet or larger. It runs about $1,200, all right? Uh, then the heavy duty and the super duty are the same price. They're just wired a little bit differently. Like I said, the Super Duty is meant for solar and super high amounts of dirty electricity. So that's the one I went for. But the Heavy Duty and Super Duty are the same size. They're the same price. Now, this one's going to run $1,400. Okay, so it's only $200 more than the regular duty. Um, again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I will also put the company's contact information in the description below. Uh, you can contact the sales sales guy directly. Super cool dude. Uh, coupon code HHF will get you free shipping. Okay, so all of that information will be in the description below. Um, again, reach out to me if you have any questions, but protect yourself, protect your loved ones, protect your pets.